this is the thing with liver. You don't know that you've got anything wrong with your liver until one day it gets picked up, usually by something else. That really shook me because the, to me there was no symptoms. People could be living a bad lifestyle for a long time and not realise it until it is too late. Anybody can get it, can't they? It's not just alcohol. I first started suffering with gout and these doing blood tests and that. They said, right, we're sending you for a biopsy, liver biopsy. They said that I got cirrhosis of it, the liver, and uh, it was due to fat building up on the liver, which you don't, don't realise, you know, you don't know. There's no symptoms or anything like that, like just eating normal food, you think you're all right. I'm a type two diabetic, and the diabetic now said to me that our GP practice was uh, doing a uh, a link project with the Queen's Medical Centre in a relationship between diabetes and uh, liver disease and would they be interested in joining that. They did a fibrous scan and found out I had cirrhosis of the liver. To my total surprise. <laughs> I just found that a bombshell dropped on me because I classed myself as just normal, everyday social drinking. I was chefing and uh, used to work uh, split shifts very late at night. Uh, when we finish the shifts, then you go for a drink afterwards. And uh, doing that six days a week for many years, obviously had its toll. I started going to the pub after work for company, and then it just went on from there. Straight to the pub from work, home when it closed, back to work to the pub. Oh, I didn't think it was excessive. You know, three or four pints. There'd be a glass of wine in the evening or with your meal. Gutted, to be honest. I was, I was quite shocked. The view I had of something like that, it was for down and out alcoholics. You know, people like that. You didn't think that I would, you know, I never imagined I would have it. I've never been particularly big. This is why it all came as a bit of a surprise to me. I wasn't over it. I've always been active, again, so I, it wasn't that I was lazy and didn't exercise and I've always eaten well we've had allotments and grown our own veg and things it was a shock however I was putting on a lot of weight particularly around the middle and not being able to shift it which was an indicator that something wasn't quite right. I'm a teetotaler so it's the last thing in the world I thought I was ever going to get until it was explained to me about fatty liver disease but it all came into place then because my diet was a high in fat, bacon sandwiches and Big Macs and things like that. The treatment for the liver disease really has been looking after my diet. I used to be 14 stone and now I'm to 12 now. And when I was diagnosed, I thought, right, I need to do something. So we bought a treadmill, we do that every day and uh, cut my meal proportions down. I sit at my desk during the day and at the end of my desk there's a big tin of biscuits. So I try and refrain from that. It's things like that, it's, it's, it's testing your willpower all the time. That's where I find it difficult. I do feel very much so for my husband because it's not fair, because I'm just so tired. And I don't like anybody looking at me, my body, my shape. I've got relatively thin legs, arms. I've got this huge expanding waistline. To be honest though, I suppose I really missed it. because I missed the social side as well. It was part of me. I just didn't want to feel as though I was an alcoholic, because it'd be, if I was, all my friends were. I do take more care of myself, eating regularly, a bit of exercise, and I do actually feel 100% pretty well all right, as if I haven't got a disease, which is sort of odd, really. For the cirrhosis, it's quite alarming that you don't feel a lot of difference. I've had scans. They say everything's the same as it was, so now nothing's getting worse. It won't go away, but the liver apparently heals itself. It, it won't get any worse. It probably won't get better, but it won't get worse. Dr Ryder said, your liver's doing fine, Mary, it'll, it'll stay fine, as long as you stay off the bottle. That was his exact words, which I thought was quite funny. But yeah, if I don't go back on alcohol, it'll be fine. Something was going off inside of me but I didn't know it was something that was creeping up on you, like a cancer, I suppose. If there was a way you could be told that your body would store the fat instead of getting rid of it, then you'd know to change your lifestyle earlier on, you know, and you wouldn't have this hanging over you. But I wish I had been born then. What could have happened? It's learning 
to listen to your body and not be silly about it and think, oh, well, I'll, I'll just have this glass of wine because I fancy it. No, don't. Be sensible. And know that you can actually get a lot of support and you can carry on and have a good time.